Hello and welcome back to Cooking by Zoe. Today, come and watch as I show you on how I make my seafood boil sauce. This sauce can be used as a dipping sauce for your seafood or it can be mixed with your seafood boil. Stay tuned as I will be posting another video soon showing you guys how I use the sauce in my seafood boil. This is the plate of my seafood boil in which I use the sauce and this is the dipping sauce. It's very delicious. Okay, and here is just a closer look. I'm using purple sweet sticky rice to dip in the sauce and it's actually very good. Sorry, I devoured this plate already before I can show all of the uh, seafood, but here are just a uh, crawfish that are left. It does get pretty messy eating seafood boil, but it's so finger licking good. All right, let me peel another one of these crawfish. And yes, they do take time to peel. Oh, there you go, so yummy. These are all the ingredients that I'll be using today to make this sauce. You'll need two bowls of garlic, half a medium yellow onion, and three inch of lemongrass. Chop these into smaller pieces and then place them into your food processor or chopper. I just find that chopping the lemongrass especially just makes it easier. You can also do this by hand by mincing, but that's obviously going to take a little longer than, you know, using a food processor or chopper. But of course, if you don't have one, just do this by hand. It's just going to take a little longer. Next, let's go ahead and melt our butter. So in a large pot or wok, turn the heat to high and then place in four unsalted butter. Make sure you are using unsalted butter and not salted butter because all of the dry ingredients that we'll be adding in are already salty when they are all mixed together. While the butter is melting, let's go ahead and measure our dry ingredients. Here I have listed all of the dry ingredients that we'll be adding into this bowl to add on to our butter. So I'm adding in two tablespoons of chicken flavoring, two tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning, one tablespoon of oregano leaves, three tablespoons of ground paprika, one and a half tablespoon of chili powder, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of lemon pepper, and optional at the end is one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, if you don't like spice, then do without. If you want more spice, then you can add a little bit more of this cayenne pepper. There's honestly no particular brand that I am recommending over the other. Um, I'm just using whatever that's available at my grocery store and I would recommend the same as well. After you have added in all of the dry ingredients, give it a good mix and then set it aside and we'll add that on to a butter mixture later. When the butter is melted and you start to see bubbles boiling, add in the minced garlic, onion, and lemongrass. And then give this a good mix and allow it to cook for one minute. And then once it's been one minute, you'll go ahead and add your dry ingredients. So it's been one minute, so I'm going to add in all of the dry ingredients that we measured out earlier and give this a good mix and then turn the temperature down to medium high and allow this to cook for additional five minutes. After five minutes, turn off the heat and transfer it to a bowl. Serve the sauce at room temperature, not cold because the butter will clump. If you like your sauce to be a little bit more thick, then you can cook this a little longer at low medium and allow it to reduce by one fourth. So here it's been five minutes and our sauce is ready. So again, I'm going to go ahead and transfer this to a bowl. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you will give this recipe a try. And if you do, do comment down below on let me know how you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Bye.